A new feature in KitKat 7 is the ability to use any installed font on your operating system in both the schematic editor and the PCB editor, the layout editor. So anywhere pretty much that you can see a font on these editors, you can customize it. For example, let's have a look at this label here. Just double click on it to get its properties and you can see down here under formatting that you can use any of the available fonts as well as add some transformations to the way that the font looks like when it's applied and you see that the font now is applied and looks different to the others. That's just one example. I'm just going to do and undo here to go back to its original. Other things you can do is just the normal text. Here is some sample text. And of course you can customize the way that this text looks like. These are fonts that are installed on my operating system. And I can make this one bold, change its color. Let's make it magenta. And you can also add a link. So these text uh, labels can also become clickable. So hit OK. Here is the, the new text item and I can click on it and open up whatever link I'm linked to, clicking and then it will bring up the, the browser. All right, so here's another example going to show you one more example here in the schematic editor and I'm going to add a text box. Uh, text box are also a new feature in KitKat 7. And of course in here you can choose uh, the text, the size, let's make that really big, three millimeters. I'm going to change the color to this green. And I can also use these buttons to justify the text accordingly. So I'm going to put it in the middle of the box like that. Uh, you can also switch the orientation. So vertical, horizontal, and add links, of course. I'm going to add a border for the box that is, and I'm going to make that red. So it looks like this. There you go. So this is an example of a text box with a custom text in it. And of course you can also have a link in this text. Just gonna type E to go to the text properties and add a link. And as you can see now, this is clickable. The same features are now also available in the PCB editor. Anything that is text can be customized as far as its font and style is concerned. So let's say, for example, I want to customize the way that this label looks like. So I've used the text selection filter. I will type the E key. And you can see that here, let's see the front silkscreen layer. And I'm going to change the font to, let's make it Arial Black. And I can change its... Um, size as well. Customize that. Let's make it much bigger than what it is. Click OK and you can see that that's the new label. It's a new text style for this footprint. If I go back into the properties values, just a couple of other things to show you here is that the button right here that I'm pointing to will allow me to flip this text item over if so I can print out in mirror mode, which works well if you want to place this text item into the back silk screen. I'm just going to do it really quickly to show you. So as you can see, it's disappeared from the front. It's gone to the back silk screen. And if I have a look at the 3D viewer and flip that over, you can see it's right there. This is a change to how you could flip items over between KiCad 6 and KiCad 7. In KiCad 6, if I remember correctly, there was a checkbox that you would click to reverse the text. Uh, here, there's a button. Yeah, I'm going to put it back to the front silk screen as in the original. Last but not least, as with the schematic editor, in the PCB editor, 
there's also a new feature, the text box. It works exactly the same way as in the schematic editor. You can type something in here, select your font, and choose a border and these other options that are available here, including orientation, and click OK, and there is the new text box. The only thing that is not available in the text box in the PCP editor versus the schematic editor is that these uh, text items are not clickable, so there's no URL field here, unlike the URL field that you saw in the text properties in the schematic editor.